welcome to Sarah's Stampin' Retreat. Today we're going to be creating a fun interactive card and for that we're going to be using this really cool die from In Love Art Shop and these rainbow fade LED stickers from Chibitronics. And if you like this die, stick around to the end of the video where I'll give you a code for 25% off the whole shop for In Love Art Shop and I'll also pop it in the description below. So I've got a 5x5 five five inch card front here and I've cut the die in navy as well. So you can see it's just a bit smaller than that 5x5 five five inch card front. It measures nearly 4 and 3 quarter inches square. I'd say it's probably 4 and 5 eighths inches square. Then I've got a piece of white cardstock that's 4 and a half inches square and I want my light to come through underneath the stars. So I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm just going to trace through the stars so that I know where I want my lights. So then next I need to work out how best to join these lights with my metallic tape. And so you can see I've drawn rough lines on here of where I want everything to go so then I can follow those lines with my tape. So this is one of the switches from this foam adhesive pack so I'm going to glue that on here where I've drawn the lines from. I'm going to pop below some simpler light up cards in case you've not seen any before because this is more difficult with more lines coming out but basically as long as the positive and the negative lines don't cross then you're fine. So that's kind of where we need to go. So now that I know, know where my positive and negative need to go, I know that my negative has these two bits at the bottom and my positive has kind of three bits, but it's more pointy. So if you imagine that as a triangle, then the negative's at the bottom. So I'm gonna use this as the top of my triangle and this is the bottom of the triangle. So I know the bottom of the triangle needs to go on the negative line. So I've put the negative here so I'm going to pop this over this star that I drew earlier and I'm going to do that like that. So then, then that, that negative is on this negative line that I've drawn. And then I'm going to do the same on this star. And then I'm going to do the same on this star. And this time I've got the negative on this side. So that bottom part needs to go on this side. And this is just showing me where my stickers are going to go so that I can make sure that my tape is spaced appropriately. And then up here, the negative's going to go around the back and the positive's going to come in this way. So I'm going to do this one this way. So then I've got my lights put in. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my conductive fabric tape. And this comes in rolls of 10 metres, so you get so much in one roll. And I'm going to do the positive first. So I'm going to start this on this side of my switch and then we're going to go over like this and then I'm going to follow this line round so I need to make sure that it goes over that pointy side of the markers that we've put in for the lights. So then what I'm going to do is I want the positives for this side to join on so I'm just going to overlap that over this a little bit and then I'm going to bring this this way and in fact I'm going to do it slightly different to how I drew it. I think it's easier if I bring it down here and then across and then I can go straight up like this rather than having to branch it out in two ways like I drew. So I'm just making sure again that it goes over that positive side of the lights and then I'm going to end that on the positive side of that light just snip it off there and then I'm going to do the negative side so the most important thing is that the negative doesn't touch the positive so we're going to go out this side and then I'm going to just corner it so that it goes over the negative side of that LED light, then over the negative side of that one, 
and then I'll cut that off there and then I'm going to have another piece that comes out of this side and that is going to go over the negative side of this one and then it needs to go down this way it needs to go over the negative side of this one making sure it doesn't touch this positive and over the negative side of that one and then we can just cut that off there. So kind of once you've mapped out where you want everything to go, it's pretty simple. It's just following the lines with the tape and making sure the positive and the negative don't touch. And everything from Chibitronics is so easy to use because it's all self-adhesive. So now I'm gonna add on some of these rainbow fade stickers. And I've not used any of these before, so I'm really excited to do this. So I'm gonna make sure that the negative side of my sticker goes over the negative side of the tape and that the positive side goes over the positive positive. and again these are self adhesive so really easy to use and the most important thing about these is to make sure that the positive side goes on the positive and the negative goes on the negative and then in this foam adhesive pack you also get these pieces to keep the batteries in place. So I'm going to use one of those. And then I'm just going to add in one of these flat batteries. I've got this selection of batteries and they all work in them. It just needs to be a flat battery. And you can see that now when I press that down, these are lighting up and changing colours. So I've labelled this up and there'll be a picture of that on my blog so that you can follow the circuit if you need to. And then I've added some vellum to the back of this die cut piece. And I'm just adding in these larger letters with some foam strips. So I cut the die four times from the pink, the green, the yellow and the blue so that I'd have the pieces to fit in. But obviously now I've got enough to make several of these cards if I just switch everything round. So, I'm, so that, for example, I could make one with a pink outside and then switch around the colours inside. I've got all the pieces to make like five cards now. And obviously... You can make this card without putting the lights behind. The lights are really pretty, but it's a really pretty card even before you put the lights behind. So in these smaller letters here, I'm going to add in with some glue. In fact, I think I might add them through my sticker maker. So this sticker maker just does the same as kind of adding double-sided adhesive on the back so if you don't have a sticker maker you could use double-sided adhesive or you could use the sticky dots that I often use I don't think they make this version of the sticker maker anymore this really old one but I do think they have sticker makers on the market so I'll link to something similar in the description below in case they are really useful so all you do is put the bits in the top and then pull it through and it makes them into stickers. So then I'm going to add these letters on. And then I also added on to here the insides of the letters so that I can just fill those in with the navy. So then I'm going to add on some foam pads and we need it to be as thick as this. So there is some foam tape that comes in the pack. That's going to be really difficult with all the bits on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use double depth foam pads. So I'm going to double up my foam pads because I don't really have room to put the, um, the tape. It's going to be easier if I use this. So 
So then I'm going to place this over here. And I'm remembering that my battery is underneath the A. And I won't add a push here or anything like that to this card because I think it will ruin the layout. But I'll put a little note inside the card saying, um, like, press on the A for the magic to happen or something like that. So then all I'm going to do is glue the back of here onto here. So now if I hold down on the A, then all those stars will start to change colour. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. If you love this die, then it's linked below and make sure you add Sarah25, I'll put that code below as well, into your basket when you check out to get 25% off and that's 25% off the whole store so if you wanted to add in anything else you get 25% off that as well. So I really hope that you enjoyed creating this card with me today. If you did I'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below and there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.